Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with Ecom Insiders. And in today's video, I'm going to be creating a print on demand design from scratch, and it's going to be a personalized print on demand design. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to hit Photoshop. I'm going to get some assets from Creative Fabrica, and we're going to make a design that has the potential to do over five figures, maybe even six figures in an evergreen niche. And I love doing evergreen niche stuff. Obviously, it's not going to get your, your big, massive kind of trending niche where you hit massive of massive days but it does give you seals every single day for a long period of time the niche we're going to be talking about today gets seals year round it never dries up there's new people entering the niche every single day every single hour every single minute it's kind of the perfect little niche to be in so what we're going to do is jump in and we're going to try and create this design in hopefully under 10 minutes uh, and yeah let's see if we can do it if you like these type of videos please do hit that thumbs up button it really does help out the channel and hit subscribe if you're new here so go ahead start that timer and let's get into this the niche i'm going to be hitting is the wedding niche and in particular bridesmaids we're going to be trying to create a print which is you know obviously like a print or you could put this on a canvas as well and it has the potential to do very well you could sell this on facebook ads on your shopify store you could sell it on etsy on redbubble whatever platform that you like but first thing i'm going to do is head into creative fabrica right here and what we want to do is grab some graphics this is one of my favorite designers on here uh lecoq design i'll put a link to them down below if you do use my link i do get a little bit of a commission but i love creative fabrica Fabrica, it means I don't have to go pay designers hundreds and hundreds of dollars to create little designs like this. So I'm going to see if they have any bridesmaid stuff in here, which it looks like we actually have a lot more than I thought. I'd seen uh, one of these packs before, but it looks like there's an absolute ton of them, which is even better for us. So there's tons of different ways that you could do this. I'm just going to use the first one here. I like it. Uh, it kind of looks like the design that I want to go for. So I'm going to click into this and we're going to go ahead and download this design in particular so let's click download right here and what we're going to do is create a print where you have the bridesmaid and the bride side by side their names on the bottom which can be personalized obviously and then obviously they can personalize you know the bodies and the hair as well uh, but very easy to target on facebook well we'll wait on this to download for five seconds Facebook targeting, you want to target people who are one, newly engaged. You want to target people who are newly married because they'll be buying this as a gift for their bridesmaids. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the target on Facebook. And them, two niches and two uh, interests are obviously getting new people in them every single day. So let's open this up and see what we've got in here. We've got a lot of different files. So I'm going to extract this. You need to extract them and then we can see all of them. So let's go to downloads. Uh, let's take a look at the bridesmaids here. And if we open this up, we actually got all these little fonts and all too that we can use and obviously put on the characters. Uh, as I'm doing like the speed run of creating this, I'm not going to be layering all the different bodies and hairstyles on top of each other. I've done that in past videos and I'll link down below or up in the top right hand corner to another design that I created for Halloween and showed you that. That just makes it extremely easy to fulfill different designs. But if you're just doing a couple of these and you're just getting started, you can do it the exact way I'm going to do it in this video so what we're going to do is just drag in a couple of these different uh, bodies right here so what we want to do first is get the bride so obviously this you could use any of the characters for any of the people uh, i'm just going to get the bride as this person right here uh, so let's open that so we can drag them in so that's our bride right there and then if we take a look we want to get a bridesmaid it looks like we don't have any feet on these people. That could be uh, a little bit of an issue. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get a bridesmaid here. So let's do that. Let me see what we're looking at on these. So they just cut off the legs on this. Not a fan of that. Uh, do they have any? Let's go back and see if they have any designs here of bridesmaids that have the old legs. You know, we do like the legs around here. It looks like they're cutting them off on pretty much all of these. So probably something we're just going to have to deal with. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, obviously with a print, that's not the greatest, but I suppose we can just do it like this. I've already made one here. It looks fine. Uh, I think we can we can deal with it. So what we're going to do is put these side by side. Going to make them a little bit smaller. Uh, Drag this down. I want to make them the same sort of size. So let's see if that kind of fits on top of each other. This looks pretty good. Obviously, a little bit bigger right there. So I think that's good about here. 
Uh, we might want to make them a little, just a tad bigger. So we want to select both of these and drag them out at the same time. That's looking perfect. Let's just center that. And then what we want to do, I want to add a quote in on top. Uh, I want to add the names in at the bottom as well. So I'm going to add in the quote here first. I have this font that I want to use. And I'm just going to say, uh, thanks for being my bridesmaid. I think do it all caps for this font. Thanks for being my bridesmaid. I couldn't have done it without you. So I think that looks kind of nice. I like this little font up here. Potentially make it bold if possible. I don't think we've got a bold version of it, but we can hit, uh, I believe the bold. No, we can't, we don't have a bold option, but I think it looks fine. Now I want to change the background on this. So what we're going to do is click this and then I want to get like a really light kind of purple. So we're going to click purple and then drag it way, way out here. Control delete. Uh, and now it's coming together. Honestly, at this point, it's starting to look pretty good. When you put a nice like frame around this and have it as a print in your house, it'll look kind of good. We need to put the names in as well, and we need to get these uh, little human bodies some heads. So let's grab the heads out of the folder right here. Um, if you take a look, what color her? Let's go for some brown her here. And let's get the second person some her. They can have blonde her. And we also want, uh, obviously, we want to get, oh, we need to select that first. We also want to get the bride in and we want to get the bride's maid in. So let's get, maybe we'll do a maid of honor. And I think on these we'll do like gold uh, writing. I think that'll look nice. So let's click that. And then we need the one for the, the gold one for the bride right here. Drag that in and we're good to go. So let's make these a little smaller. Uh, this one can be the bride. I think we initially had the other one as our bride, but it really doesn't matter for the sake of this video. Uh, let's drag this down. Put it right here on top. Make these hers a little smaller. We don't want uh, big giant heads. Maybe we should have picked her that doesn't go down over uh, our... We obviously can't have that setting. It's still a bit too big, I think. Um, that's a bit too small and that's uh just right i think about it there but obviously we can't uh have the maid of honor thing over the top of her hair. that looks silly so we're gonna have to drag it below that i mean that's what it would be in real life so i suppose that's okay and then the bride one it should be fine we can have it a little bit lower uh, so you can see it so let's grab this hair and put it on make it a little bit smaller as well I think we can make this a little bit smaller too. Is that like normal sized? I can't tell. It's a weird kind of hairstyle right here. Is there any that look easier to do? I'm going to stick, uh, let's see, let's do some short hairs or maybe in a ponytail. Uh, so let's grab this one for one of them. Oh, we deleted it accidentally. Bring that back, bring it back. So let's drag this one in uh, and then let's see how that looks. I really don't like that hairstyle. It doesn't look like real hair. This one here, let's put that on a little bit smaller. Okay, so that looks kind of perfect. That's the bride sorted. And then we need, uh, let's go for something like this where it's a bit more realistic, looks a bit more like her and we can see most of the design which is good and it's over the maid of honor so now this is looking pretty good we're in a place now where things are starting to look uh pretty nice so we're going to just drag all of this i need to be centered i think that's it now now all we need to do is add in the names and sometimes when you keep things really simple really short and sweet like this they look better right so i'm gonna put the names in down here so let's just say she's called sarah and then the next one is, oh, paste. That's the wrong thing. Copy, paste. And Michelle. 
So that's pretty much our design done. I think it looks pretty solid. I think maybe we move stuff down a little bit, but other than that, this is looking pretty good. I mean, if you just had this sitting on like a little uh, frame poster or frame canvas, something like that, I think it would look pretty good. So that's the design done. I'm gonna stop the timer right here. I think that took like eight minutes to do. Really, really easy. What I'm gonna do next is put it inside a mock-up and see what this would look like inside a house. So give me a second and I'll do that. So guys, I went ahead and put this inside three different mockups so you can see what it looks like. And you could use these in your Facebook ads as well. This is an app called Place It where you just upload the design in and it'll put it inside a mockup. So you can see here we've got it above a nice little sofa. Looks pretty good, but I don't think the colors really match what I'm looking for. Uh, we probably can change the background colors on some of these. This one doesn't have the option. And then if we go into this one, I think this one looks really, really nice and really, really clean. If we could get this where it's like just that little i love like the white around the poster i think that makes it really pop uh so if you could get a different version of this which had you know that white around it but maybe in a different setting that would look really cool but again i do love it in that white print so that might be an idea to actually you know put it in one of them for your photo or put it in one of them for one off your uh, ads and then if we look at this one i think this looks really good as well it's got the kind of wooden effect um and yeah you got your bride made of honor and i think it looks really good i mean it was a very simple design but it's personalized which makes people be so much more enticed to purchase something like this versus just going out there and purchasing you know some bog standard quote mug for your bridesmaid they can purchase this it's something different and it's personalized which makes it really really powerful you can put their names in down here as well so yeah well, that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm going to link some videos down below in the description maybe up here at the right or maybe on the end screen that you can check out to dive deeper more into these kind of photoshop tutorials and figuring out how to create really good designs if you enjoyed this video hit the like button hit subscribe if you're new here and if you do want to join my print profits course where you can learn like how to do all of this from start to finish building a store finding really good products really good ideas and designs you can check all of that out in the description as well and i'll see you guys in the next one